This is Henry Frederick of Headline Surfer and I'm here today in New Smyrna Beach, Florida at the home of Gene Sheldon, one of New Smyrna Beach's native sons, uh, fifth generation uh, Sheldon family, a very prominent uh, with the NSB CAPS a program for the high school for, for graduating seniors, uh, very much involved with the National the Museum of History on downtown uh, and projects with the uh, uh, Southeast Volusia YMCA as we will go over in the next segment. Uh, Mr. Sheldon, you were recently appointed. You, you put in an application to apply for a position on the Southeast Volusia Advertising Authority. It goes without saying, it hasn't been a very smooth ride for you the last couple of weeks. Not really. Uh, I've only attended one a workshop. workshop, and that was a workshop. And I met, for the first time, most of the board members. Did you know any of them? And I mean, I'm sure you didn't know Mr. Clapsaddle, the new I chairman. No one. Nobody on the board. I seen Hampton Inn manager Tony Stagney Tony uh, on the street and around town in some functions. I did not know any of them. Um, I knew Mr. Palmer from back forth. Palmer Wilson, you mean? I knew him from back. Yeah. From years ago. Um, it's got to be tough for you knowing that he was credited with turning things around after the Nicole Carney scandal. And then he was he was on the board, he was off the board, whatever the politics are. You inherited that seat. Um, I don't know if you want to get involved in whatever that issue was with him and no, Ms. Denny's. No, that's water over the dam. Henry. Right. That's that's, water, that's 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 we're worried about what is taking place today. Moving forward here. With my two previous terms on the board, I think I've got. And that was again. Nineteen. That, uh, Late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah, somewhere yeah. around there. A three-year period. Yeah, and my goal is is to forget about the water over the dam, forget about Palmer Wilson, forget about the previous directors. We need to work as a board. Lowell, well, let me ask you this, and, and, I, and again, it's going to come across maybe a little critical towards you, and it's not, it, it, you know, as a reporter, I have to ask. Isn't there some unfinished business even preceding a Palmer Wilson with the whole thing about the county council and removing Nicole Carney, uh, you know, and then and then the issue of the FDLE and then two years later it's still unsettled. Well, do you feel I like guess, that's a do you feel like that's a black cloud black cloud hanging over you guys? There's definitely a black cloud hanging over all of that authority. That's gonna be a lot of pressure on all of you. I mean, Jeffrey Hentz just has submitted his well, resignation in Daytona. Take me. I'm seventy five years old. I'm local. I do not answer to anyone. Right. I got a four-legged cat and a girlfriend's grand dog. <laughs> I don't answer to anyone. I'm not obligated to a soul. I have a lot of friends being born here. Beautiful home is paid off. You're retired. Got, I'm retired and I love the community. And we can work through. But we've got to, and I know what you're after, is a email that I said, who is the rat? Well, yeah, I mean, that's what this is all about. The, who's, who's the rat? The, who's right. the rat? I don't know who the that's rat the is. That's the big talk in the, all the, yeah. across Volusia County. I don't care who the rat is, because it has to be somebody. Well, you brought it up. I sure did. And you were, you were not, you were less than pleased. I, I brought it up because we know that the board meetings are open to the public. We know also that it's public records. But you can't call the office today and want the minute, minutes from a workshop three days ago. It takes time. <clears throat> but the information at that board meeting, the workshop, it was to everybody in a matter of hours. And it just kind of, well, I guess because I had inquired. Well, I don't, I'm not calling you a rat. Oh, no, I'm not a rat. You're not a rat. No, no, I, I resent I any... If you were, I wouldn't be sitting here yeah. talking to you. No, I, I'm the I tell you, not no, but hell no. no. Now, let's get back to it. Somebody is stirring it up. I don't know. It's like I said. I want the board to be unified. I want us to have one goal. To get the restaurants, seats, tables, bars... We want the hotels, the motels, the mom and pops. We want to have people come here and enjoy our beautiful city of New Smyrna Beach. Well, I do know that Carl Watson, we'll get to him in a minute. He's the new director from Texas. A lot of experience. He brings a sort of a that charm of he's from Daytona Beach originally. 
grew up here in the 60s. Yes. And he hasn't been here very long. He came here in, in early August. Uh, he, Tim Hamby, who you probably never met, was the architect. He was only here for about seven, eight months. But he and Palmer Wilson worked together, and they were pretty much the architects of the spring and then the fall beach weeks, which really, I mean, we had record numbers of, of uh, overnighters, uh, what they call accommodations, accommodators, which is the driving force right. behind the bed tax. I think they'll be back. I don't think they're going to do away with that. I and think a, they're going to continue and add more to it. And of course, we at Headline Surfer, we actually entered into an agreement with the Ad Authority in August to, to provide a weekly a roundup or an accounting of what's coming up for the people coming into New Smyrna Beach from other parts of the country. I know nothing about that until you mentioned it. Well, we hopefully uh, you'll... in the past, we need to, again, I'm going to quote it again, we need to work as a board to get the good, a better reputation, to spend the taxpayers' money the way it should be spent. We do not want to be considered, quote, I was told, quote, a unfriendly board. I well, know nothing let's get it. away from the politics for a second yeah. and let's talk about policy, which is what you're there for. Right. I, I assume that you're not running the day-to-day -day operations. That's, that's the director's issue. No, I'm not. You're the policy guy. You're the policy people. Okay, let's talk about Beach Weeks and its success. There was a kite festival. Right. There was, um, there was a, a sand sculpturing. Uh, 5K runs, all kinds of neat things um, that drew a lot of children, right. more family-oriented, it seemed, this time around than maybe in past years where it was the same kind of, you know, nightlife. The fest was beautiful. Uh, beautiful. I'm we got great shots. I'm from the ocean. I just walked down a half a block, and I'm on the beach. See, even old, walk down and little watch. kids and yeah. grandparents, there were, like little kids. There were some people my age or older, probably. Look like something out of the Twilight Zone. Kick the can, you know? Oh, yes. Um... I'm proud. Of, I'm proud of what they have done in the past. The but now it's a new we, ball we game. We need to pick that ball and run with it. The kite fest can really grow. They well, had one in Jacksonville that I got kites 10, 12, 15 feet across. I know. And again, this is where I came in in terms of reporting the news that you want to know who the rat was. It was I important to you just like them because to whoever the person well, is, let me, he or she. Let me, let me explain for edification for the viewers that will be seeing this because they won't have the benefit that yeah. we have. Basically that um, the new director, Carl Watson, his very first day on the job, and he, he, he readily admitted it himself to the county officials in an email. He said, Mr. Frederick was absolutely right. On my first day, I had lunch. I didn't really understand the difference between the chamber. dealing in a private chamber environment that I was in all these years to now being accountable to the public where there's a whole different set of rules. However, you got, were you given policies and procedures to review even yourself when you came on board? Yes, I was. I've got them in the other room. And did you read them? I read them. Um, and this is going to sound like it's cross-examination, but in reading those, and you have a great sport, and reading those policies and procedures, it seems pretty clear that you can't use, and, and, and Mr. Watson has already acknowledged, and he's not, it's not to beat up on him. I mean, it was, this wasn't something he was trying to steal from anybody. He paid it back. He paid it back. And um, so did uh, the lady. The lady, uh, Mrs. Hendershot, yes, a, Sherry, she his paid office it back. manager. So as far as I'm concerned, and I understand that. And they bought lunch for the, for the, New board chairman Tom Clapsaddle, yeah. and that was paid back. Yeah, everything was paid back, and he had, he discussed that with assistant county council, and everything is okay. I think I think what it you mean you mean the uh, you mean the assistant county attorney county attorney right. right and and this came after an audit that yeah. showed that hey wait a minute you can't do that then they paid it back right so I think they're forgiven but it's clear to you that that was not appropriate from reading the policies and procedures right be honest with you is it confusing you, to I, you I read them totally okay because. Some people are saying, well, the new, the new, man, the new director, and, and again, I'm not coming across as no. judging him. I'm not asking the questions as a reporter should do. Shouldn't you know by now, if you've got all these years of experience, when in doubt, don't or ask? I think he was considered it as his previous position with the chamber. Kind of friendly. Yeah, it's back slapping. It's two different ball games. Right. He knows it. Kind of like you hanging out at the Angles Club. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Back slapping, like hanging out with your buddies. He'll never, it'll never happen again. No, I don't. I don't. I, don't, I think he'll be the first to say that. Oh, day he already has. I mean, he's apologized. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, so I think we don't need to beat dead horses. We need to. I think. I think from my point of view in raising the story, which prompted you to say, "Who's the rat?" Because that's right. the story that we wrote was very strong, and of course, you know, Peter Mallory, the late publisher who founded Headline Surfer, with with me. Um, as originally as NSB News LLC, and you and Pete were lifelong uh, friends. Pete and I were friends from the day he moved to town. Why don't you tell the public what Pete would say about Henry Frederick? Henry uh, Frederick has no problems with, I mean, Pete has no problems with Henry. Otherwise, he would not have turned it over to him. No, but why did Pete get involved with Henry Frederick to begin with? Wasn't it the love of they the two he guys? They thought man, and, and yes, love. And Pete's wife and I, we're born and raised in New Very York. close. Very close, and we... I guess not to be self-serving, but the point I'm trying to make to people that would be watching this is that our intent was not to embarrass Mr. Watson or anybody, or you or anybody else, but it's pretty compelling when you get a bunch of emails, and the, the big one is, who's... Oh, he's okay. Yeah, your dog is enjoying a nice meal. Who's the rat? I don't know. If there is... If there, but you raised that somebody. issue. What yeah. did you... What was your concern? My that concern somebody was bad-mouthing and making it look I, bad? My concern is whoever, quote, the rat is, should not be on the board. If it is a board member. I will, I will staff, tell you. If it is, wait a minute. If it is a staff member, they need to leave that authority. I, I will don't know and don't care. But it needs to stop. All it does is give the media, including you, than you, anybody, any of the media, just something, put more wood on the fire. We need to put that fire out and not even have a trace of smoke. We've got to work to better Southeast Lucia in bed and tax and restaurants. Well, when you, and, and, and uh, I remember you telling me earlier, tell, tell us again, you hit the send, I mean the respond, the oh. reply. And you, you, I was you, you Carl, hit the, uh, the exact Carl had sent out an email. He emailed to everyone about the letter that. Why? Uh, what had? What had happened? Who wrote his, the letter? Did you write the letter? No, I wrote and a story. A to you? I wrote a. I wrote <laughs> a. I wrote a. Uh, a blog to the county about um, transparency. The letter to somebody. And I brought up the idea that I had information that to, uh, that a public credit card or a series of oh, uh, uh, several credit cards that were assigned to the ad authority were being, uh, were being abused. He and he responded to it. And, it and, and it's, sent it to board members. Right. And, and right. I believe, hold on, his exact statement was, Mr. Frederick is exactly right. I did do these. He, and I'm sorry admitted. for it. And it wasn't intentional and it won't happen again. And I think he even put in there that he had discussed it with the assistant county council. Well, well what he said was, it came to their attention from the, um, uh, uh, the the auditors. Then he followed up with a phone call to the uh, assistant county yeah. attorney yeah. to make sure that he was on the same page with everybody in terms of where do we go from here. He's paid to put the fires out, and I think he did a fantastic job of uh, admitting he made a mistake. It's been corrected. Money's been paid back. Now, on your computer, as you know, because you got one in front of you, you got a reply and a reply all. Right. All right. You mean I for the know, email? Yeah, email. I know the Sunshine Law pretty good. But that was a boneheaded move. You that weren't really thinking a, about I it. I pushed instead Is of Is boneheaded a good enough term yeah. to, to beat you well, up you with? You told me you did the same thing. And it was I've done it. I've, no, not nationwide. Uh -huh. I did a thing, a police response to a report, and it went to all the media in Central yes. Florida. It's, it's, it's a mistake. I know the Sunshine Law. I hope this is the end of it. I pushed reply all, went, went to all board members, which is not sunshine law, it's, it's against it. Well, and I, instead of replying yeah, back to the executive director, right. <laughs> I replied there. And, it turned, and then, not your fault, but then the board chairman, who's, who's obviously new, Mr. Clapsaddle, he then weighed in, someone else weighed in, before you know it, 
It's a yeah, cheerleading. It's, it's a cheerleading uh, session. I believe. Uh, Do you think that the public will have faith that you guys are going to hold Mr. Watson accountable in the future? Because it it came across. Oh, Mr. Watson. Well, let me stop you for there. I'm sorry, Gene. I'm uh, Mr. Shelby. Right. It came across. I know we're, we're fighting time, Gene. It came across that oh, we're supporting you no matter what. We want to put heads in beds, and I think some people thought of it as cavalier, like we don't care that. That, that, that he was eating free lunches. No, because that's not the mo that's not the message, right? In in the message that he sent to the board, I think he said he admitted all that and he paid it back. All right, so I'm, I emailed to him. Of course, it went to everybody that he's doing a good job. He he was brought to his attention by the auditors. Him and the lady paid their monies back. It won't happen again. Now, say next year, Mr. Watson or a staff member that's got a credit card that does that, then I think something should happen. And, and Gene, out of fairness to you and respect for you for granting me this time with you on short notice, I want you to know that the only person who knows who the rat is, is yours truly, the reporter. Well, and fine. I can assure you, it is not an, a member of your board. I have made the only thing... And I can also assure you, it is not an elected official or a county official. And that's all I'm going to say. That's I'm not going anywhere beyond that. Fair enough. Whoever the rat is knows that I know there's a rat. As long as you make it clear, it's not the reporter. The reporter doesn't rat on himself. If you were a rat, I would be out the your, door. Your butt would never get right. set foot in my home. Now, in all seriousness now, we've gotten beyond the affection and, uh, you know, getting to all the, the hard stuff. Where do you go from here to, to rebuild confidence? You still don't have a marketing plan. You're brand new. That you've got to you've got to convince the county government, the the taxpayers. We've had scandal after scandal. You got Waverly Park bench issue with Attorney John Caney come back into the fold, and you know all that stuff with Earnhardt and uh, American Music Festival and all the other scandals that have come across. You still have the unresolved issues of the Nicole Carney era at the Ad Authority. I believe that is in the hands of the county council. And Palmer Wilson still feeling like he was thrown and under the Palmer bus. Palmer Wilson is, how can I say this? You know, you can have a drop of rain in a big ocean. What Palmer Wilson does is his business. Right. But I don't want him to try to undermine. Do you feel he I, is? I don't know. I've, I've only attended one workshop. I've not attended a board meeting. I can only tell you from I've my... I've never heard his name right. at the workshop. I can only tell you from my perspective as the reporter that I'm not aware of anything, and I can look you in the eye and tell you that. Good. One I'm more... Back and I, right. I don't know. One more person that I want to address, because Mr. Wilson was moved, removed from the board. It had everything to do... It, it all started off with a, with a contract that involved Headline Surfer doing business with the Ad Authority to market the Ad Authority. Uh, a first time thing with our, you know, because we have several thousand videos and, you know, the, the, the readership that we have throughout Florida I knew and the country. About that too. Well, no, but I mean, you'll learn it in yeah. time, hopefully, right. as you start studying what we're doing. And our, and our contract is pretty much at an end. A couple more weeks and it's finished. Um, when Palmer Wilson was removed at the urging of Joshua Wagner, and this is the politics of county government. Uh, it was a uh, four to three vote, and Miss Deborah Denny's the first term con uh, congressman. Well, we're already promoting these people. Councilwoman representing Greater New Smyrna. I'm sure you know Deb Denny's. Um, she was very strongly supportive of Palmer Wilson. Then Palmer Wilson came to the council and said, and this is for the benefit of our listeners, our viewers, more than for you and I. Uh, although may, you might not even have this background. Uh, do you have some of this background? Okay. No, I don't. Well, let me just quickly wrap it up. Uh, Palmer Wilson came before the board, explained that, you know, he's a national expert in, in forensic auditing and, and planning and budgets, and he got the budget straightened out. He basically carried out the beach weeks by himself when Mr. Hammy took another job in the Jacksonville area where he returned. Did he get paid for it? Uh, no, volunteer. He was, he was what Mr. Clapsaddle is now. He single-handedly... Uh, carried that out. So he was board chair at the time. Right, and he had all the responsibilities. It was basically on his shoulders. Um, he got the budget all straightened out. He did draw criticism in, in an August meeting because he, he uh, Renee Talavas, who was the interim director, 
who was only there maybe once a week. She was also the, she's also the director of the the land West Volusia Ad Authority. And for the sake of the viewers, there's a third Ad Authority in D Daytona, the big one. Um, do you need to grab that? And we need yeah. to stop for a second. Okay, we'll stop for a second.